me. It has been a while, hasn't it? <laughs> Let's honestly just jump into it. I've been very inspired by early Giorgio Armani, specifically like 80s and 90s era Giorgio Armani. So today I want to put together a video about him, just a little informational segment, and then sort of create some outfits based on the essence of Armani. That's kind of where we'll start. So let's jump into the video. In the beginning of my videos, I always do a little informational segment, but first I list my sources. Today I have two sources. One is a Giorgio Armani book that accompanied the exhibition in the Guggenheim in 2001. And then the next reference is strictly pictorial. It's this Instagram page called My Armani Archive. Go give them a follow if you like the stuff in this video because they constantly post and it's a constant stream of inspiration and it's a little more accessible than buying this like 400 pound book. But here's the book, let me show you it. Ooh. It's the biggest girl you'll ever see, but information packed and it's a book full of a lot of different people's analysis or take on Giorgio Armani. So I find that very interesting that it's not all from one person's perspective. So when I'm talking about things, usually it's gonna be from here. When I pull images, it'll be from here and from the Instagram page. So there's that. Armani was big for many reasons, but a few of the biggest reasons that he was big are based around his innovations with suiting and that's mainly my focus for today those of you who have seen my videos before know that i am menswear brained that's all i think about so it's where the majority of my interest lies so just prepare for this video to be all about menswear as per usual basically when this book is talking about armani they talk about the sort of innovations in suiting and in the jacket specifically, he, quote, democratized the unstructured jacket and produced it industrially and suited it to every man. Essentially what he did is he ripped the guts out of menswear jackets. So he took out all of the canvassing, shoulder pads, all of these important things that sort of lend to the structure and the formality of a jacket and sort of made the everyday jacket into something more like simple and elegant. With his jackets, in addition to unstructuring them, he also made them longer in length. He moved the buttons on the blazers down a couple inches to make things look a little less sort of like buttoned up and formal. He put patch pockets on the outside of jackets he styled his suiting with knitwear or slouchy vests and introduced shirts without collars and shirts with larger informal buttons. In addition to the jackets, he also made the trousers very drapey, very sort of wide-legged, almost skirt-like in some instances, which was chef's kiss. Love that. You'll see in a lot of these like reference photos that I'm putting up on the screen, a lot of the trousers are sort of displayed in motion. The wind is sort of like ripping through the linen and sort of giving it this life and this movement that I find very fascinating. And I think displaying it and advertising it in that way was a very smart move on Armani's part. Another thing that he innovated or rather brought back into fashion was the sort of like nubby wools and linens and you know traditionally kind of seen as old-fashioned fabrics that were long dismissed as just frumpy or not fashionable. He brought them in again and made them look really cool and very luxurious and he had a really good eye for textiles. I think in the, this book they talk a lot about his beginnings and him working at a textile mill when he was younger. And um, 
learning a lot about fabrics there. He's also said to have picked fabrics based on the colors that appear at dusk or dawn. So it's a lot of these like muted tones, like sort of browns, taupes, deep purples, deep greens, deep blues. You'll sort of see it in these runway shows, the sort of color choices that he loves and, and chooses to use. He also used primarily natural fibers, which I think contributes to this like idea of luxury and casual luxury. It's all about these like fine linens and these fine silks and these fine things that only the most money can buy but worn in a very casual way, sort of like encapsulates this quiet luxury idea. And what was interesting about how he used these fabrics was that they're very draped garments on men, which I think previously was unseen or seen sort of less often. And this draping and this fabric selection, I think was specific to women's wear before this and so when Armani carried it into men's wear and with his focus on like the form underneath the suit he sort of inadvertently feminized the male form which I find also very interesting and totally cool. So anyway there's a short little rundown of Armani. Without missing a beat I'm just gonna go right into the outfits. So basically, when you think of Armani, you think of suiting. I'm going to start off with three suiting looks that I put together based on different photos that were taken of his runway shows in the 90s. The first suiting concept that I want to start with is regarding a suit with a mismatched vest. He does a lot of really great sort of like knit vests and like chunky nubby woolen vests always styled with sort of like a neutral either wool linen sometimes silk suit. I found this one photo from the fall winter 95 collection where this model is wearing this khaki sack suit with a button-up shirt without a collar and this sort of lighter grayish creamyish vest. This vest has this lower waist quality where the button was moved lower and the opening is lower and so it has this very like kind of draped casual look. So my interpretation of this outfit was essentially taking the key pieces. It's like this tannish beige-ish suit black button-up shirt and a grayish creamish vest put them together so just to sort of preface none of my suiting is as unstructured as it could be for this video but I do love a structured suit in the interest of using stuff that I already have in my wardrobe this was sort of like my take so just take it as Corinne's take on Armani not like literal copy and paste Armani anyway Back to the outfit. I think this look sort of brings across the general vibe of the outfit I described. This suit is really great. This was my dad's suit it's from the 40s. Has these amazing peaked lapels. And then I just styled it with this black shirt. This black shirt has these great sort of mother of pearl buttons on it, which I think goes well with the like statement button thing that Armani was doing. I have this gorgeous gray vintage double-breasted vest. It's like a waistcoat situation and when it buttons up it looks really cool but to sort of give that drop waist more casual effect I left it unbuttoned and I actually really like this. I would have never thought to pair these two things together but I'm actually very pleased with it and I think the suit works in this case because it is a couple sizes too big for me. I haven't tailored it because of sentimental reasons <laughs> and also it freaks me out altering true vintage pieces and I just want to keep the integrity of the suit. I think it looks great as is. The sort of like drapiness of the shoulders coming off my natural shoulder point and the sleeves kind of ruched like it, it sort of gives the Armani vibe. So yeah this is one idea just throw a vest under a suit with a contrast shirt and you're good to go. The second outfit 
is also pretty cash. Nothing too crazy styling wise happening here. My references are this one runway show from fall winter 1998. This menswear look they have these great sort of striped knit sweaters on that have a sort of zipper up the front and then they wear it with separates. The next reference image that I'm using is this photo taken of a suit in the fall winter 1995 collection. It's this beautiful gray double-breasted wool suit. It's got these like beautiful thick belt loops which I'm really jealous of and I love this like skinny belt thing. Anyway, the point is he styled it with a sweater and he styled it with a zip up sweater. Now this zip up sweater has some like really fun sort of like cut out detailing happening and he's sort of enhanced the casualness by letting the collar sort of gently flop over the collar of the suit jacket. But I have styled it more like the first reference because this is more like the sweater that I own. So again, like if you have a zip up sweater, just wear it with a suit. Wear it with like a double breasted suit that's in a neutral tone and you'll probably look like you're walking an Armani runway. Also, before I show you this specific outfit, I'm going to read a quote from Armani to excuse the wrinkles and lack of pressing in this suit. For reference, I was filming this before work. She was stressed and she was less detail oriented than she normally is. So uh, <laughs> disregard the wrinkles, but I'm justifying it with an Armani quote and um, it goes as follows. I find nothing more prissy and ridiculous than a grown man stepping out in a pristinely clean outfit. I actually, maybe that's kind of a bad quote, but Giorgio Armani didn't mind sort of rumpled, worn, lived in looks, and I'm sort of running with that. But anyway, here's the outfit. So the main character in this ensemble is this brown double-breasted suit that I've had for a while. If you have been following my channel for a little while, we'll have seen this suit a lot. This is another one of those suits that's definitely a couple sizes too big for me. I think this is a 42 long, but I think, again, for the sort of like draped quality of Armani suits, this actually works quite well for this video. And again, I haven't tailored it because I like the look of it. Like, I, I think not everything has to be exactly your size. I think you can wear things that aren't your size and you can pull them off and it looks good. Doesn't need too much talking through, I think. Outfit three combines a couple things. So one of the staples of the Armani brand are these glorious linen suits that he produced. I think He's really drawn to places with like warm climates. There's this one image from 1991, his spring summer collection for men. And it's this guy wearing this giant double breasted peak lapeled two piece linen suit. And you know, just with like a shirt and a tie and he looks great. It's pretty much the essence of a lot of his like spring summer collections <laughs> is this suit. And I have one very similar. Again, this is my dad's suit. The man has good taste, what can I say? The other kind of concept that I'm bringing in is actually from a women's wear collection. It's from 1991. He did a lot of these draped large scarf tie looking accessories that he sort of like hung around an unbuttoned sort of like blousey shirt. And I love this as a styling moment, like to wear a tie but not tie the tie. I thought it was a fun little idea. I channeled that into this look. I wore the suit with a gray linen button up shirt and threw on this green and yellow striped tie. I thought the colors looked better with this suiting than like sort of a brighter yellow one. Anyway, this is again just my interpretation of things, but I quite like this look and I like how it flowed. It reminded me of a lot of those images that I referenced earlier where the, the clothing is in movement. This I did throw on an accessory. I still am up and down about this accessory, but I felt like it needed one more thing. So I have these like yellow aviator glasses that I thought sort of pulled out the yellow from the tie specifically. And I threw those on and I mean, it's kind of cute, but 
I also don't think I'm like too much of a sunglasses girl perhaps maybe it's just me but I think anybody if you're like replicating an Armani look and you're wearing your linens you should put on some sunglasses because you're probably in a hot sunny place and you need to protect those eyes da doy yeah anyway that's the third look love her she's I think any of these three looks are just like fun suiting moments to play with and sort of like give you an idea of how you could style maybe a more oversized suit if it doesn't fit you perfectly like how could you still make it work I don't know I think it looks good the fourth outfit we're kind of stepping out of the suiting here it's still a very tailored moment but it's not suiting I'm referencing specifically Armani's sort of like sportswear. There are these very silly, silly billy little looks that I fell in love with from the spring summer 1998 collection that are pretty much, I mean, they look like little jumpsuits, but it's definitely separates. It's like jacket and some nice little trousers, but the jacket has like a little knit bottom and sort of doesn't have a lapel, it just has a collar and maybe has like a pocket on it. And from head to toe, they are one color and then they have a contrast shoe on. He has a lot of like really good, more like sporty jackets or sportswear references. Like there's this one collection, I forget which one it was, but at the end, a sort of group of men come out wearing like different iterations of stuff you could wear golfing. I just thought that was so cute. The outfit that I have gone with is sort of this like monochrome moment. This jacket and trousers, look similar enough to be a set even if they aren't and I think this canvas jacket that I have is like a sailing company I think it's made out of like sail sailing canvas like for the actual sails of a sailboat it has this like great little emblem on the side that I think is really special but what I think is most special about this jacket are these little silver snaps with like suede kind of details that exist around the whole thing. I felt like it was fun to pair these specific earrings with this jacket because the sort of like silver blob theme like continued all the way up. And then bottom half, just a pair of like khakis that I hemmed somewhat recently. The other thing I wanna talk about like really quickly is the length of his trousers was like universally a full break. <laughs> which I love with all of my heart and all of my soul. I will always be a full break girl. I love just a little puddle of fabric sitting on your shoe at the bottom of an outfit. I think it just looks good. And then underneath is this sort of like green and cream striped button up shirt. But what is specific about it that made me think about Armani is actually the neckline. It is a shirt without a collar. I just thought the sort of like creams and greens and the fact that it's like a very subtle stripe I thought that that worked well with this cream and khaki outfit and this is yeah this is just like a great casual like throw on outfit so that's the fourth outfit the fifth outfit is one of my favorites this one I actually wore to work a couple weeks ago when it was uh pouring rain this look we're focusing on the Giorgio trench moments he loves a trench I mean he has a long history of admiring military clothing this book referenced like his childhood and sort of growing up amidst World War II you know what's fascinating about World War II is that they started making clothing that the soldiers could wear after they were done serving it used to be sort of more like ceremonial looking and in the 40s it changed into something that was more like everyday wear and the trench coat was one of those things that was brought from the war into civilization civilized life civilian life that's the word one of my favorite images is this one from actually spring summer 1988 and it is like a great oversized trench which i am very jealous of and this model is striking i love his slick back hair and his sort of like bold brows the widow's peak that's happening it's it's all amazing. It's paired with a button-up shirt, a tie, and a pair of drapey trousers. His go-to combo. There's also some like 90s runway shows that have some really great trench moments. He knew what to do with a trench is all I can say. So for my final outfit, I have obviously worn a trench coat and I've done like the tie button-up trouser 
situation. I mean, I guess we'll start with the trench. The trench is uh, vintage Brooks Brothers. It's gorgeous. It has this amazing wool lining that unzips if you want it to be more of like a spring summer trench. The shirt is actually vintage Yves Saint Laurent. I think it's from the 80s. I just really liked the colors in the stripes and I thought that the sort of greenish brown color sort of like pulled into the khakis and like tans of the outfit. I threw on this tie that I thought worked well color wise and then for the trousers these are my new dreamy guy like I just love these trousers they're this amazing heavyweight cotton it's sort of like a herringbone style weave and it's just, like the legs are just so baggy I love the cuffs at the bottom I just think they're a great pair of trousers they actually remind me of this one pair of trousers that I believe is like a cotton twill or maybe a wool twill from the um, 1993 fall winter collection these felt like the perfect Armani trousers and I wish I had these in every single color and every single pattern because I would just wear them every day. They're extremely comfortable. They sort of like enhance the silhouette of every outfit. They look really good with this trench, don't they? <laughs> I love this outfit. I just felt like a cool girl, you know? A cool girl. Those are the outfits. So a quick little update about me. I want to be doing more videos obviously but I think the only way I can do it is if I sort of calm down on the research that I do or I calm down about talking about the research that I do because the last few videos that I've made I'm very proud of them but they were just like huge projects I don't think you you guys realize <laughs> that that uh, Tennessee video that I did took me like literally 40 hours to edit <laughs> anyway I want to do more like styling things because it really inspires me and helps me think differently about my own wardrobe but I need to be able to do it in um, videos that are like less than half an hour long there's that I also started a job that I love that I'm learning a lot from that I'm very excited about doing and it is a job in menswear and so expect menswear content is all I will say <laughs> because that's all I think about all the time. That's a uh, that's video for today. Let me know which outfit was your favorite. Hopefully I'll see you soon. All right. Bye.